thank you guys so much for tuning in this week to this Georgia play. So, of course, as you guys know, your girl got work from home. Yay! So, I'm so excited. I wish I could cuss, but I can't. So, um, so excited. Um, this has been a long time coming. I've been with Delta Airlines for the last four years. When I first was hired, they promised work at home within six months. It's been four years, so. But anyhow, it's here. I'm so excited. So, um, yeah, so this week's video, we're just going to go over how my little home office corner nook space came about. Um, I really wanted, you know, I, I didn't think I was going to get work at home, so it wasn't something that we were looking at at a home to make sure that we have office spaces. Matt works from home and he's been working from home for the last eight years, so it was important to get an office for him. And poor thing, like he still <laughs> does not have an office. I promise, babe, in the next house, we're going to get you an office, okay? He's deserved it, guys we're gonna get them an amazing office. But in this house, because of the floor plan, um, you know, we could have had an office space upstairs if you guys are familiar with our process from start to finish with our um, with this channel we started, which is documenting our build um, in our home and showing how that was coming together. And also my mother-in-law's house as well, she had the same floor plan, um, which is a Calvin by Fisher Homes, but it's just a little different. So in our home, we have a finished basement in her home, it's on a slab and she has the original floor plan. So she has the office space and two uh, secondary bedrooms and then her owner suite. So in our house, we just didn't have that option because we have three kids and our girls are so far apart in age that it just wasn't gonna be fair to put them in the same room. So we had to opt out of that option and get the three bedrooms upstairs and have an extra bedroom down in the basement. So Matt does work out of our guest space, which is just right over there. And then I work within this space here. Um, so again, in the next home, again, this is not our forever house, but we are making it our forever home right now. So for right now, we're just, you know, he works out of that space and I work here. So let's go ahead and get in the video. You're gonna see my mother-in-law come over and help out. So thank you so much, Lee. Let's give her a round of applause. Yay. Um, so she'll be coming over to help out. And then as always, it's always Matt and Leah um, that help me out. I think our two older ones are against doing anything. So um, when, as I watch the videos each week, I look back and I'm like, where are they? Like you never see my son. Lanaya comes from time to time on video, but my son is, well, no, let me take that back. He does show up when there's heavy lifting involved, but as far as like helping out with painting or doing anything like that, he's not for it. So um, let's go ahead and get in the video and then we'll come back and we'll walk through my little mini office. Okay, so I ordered this desk from Office Depot. Um, if you guys like it, then I'll see if I can find it and link it in the description below. Um, but this was a project that, you know, it's funny that Matt and I can create a whole accent wall or build something as far as um, just things in our house in general, like shelving, things like that. But when it comes to putting a project together, like furniture, we suck. <laughs> like it takes us forever. It's just, it's, it's not, it's not our thing. So we did call reinforcement of my mother-in-law um, to come put our stuff together. She's helped with quite a bit of furniture in our house. So thank you so much. She comes with her little handy dandy toolbox and um, helps us out. <laughs>
So I already had one of the desks, um, but I couldn't find an option of an L desk that I really liked. So what I decided to do was just purchase two of the same desk and create my own L desk. So instead of trying to make something work, make it work for you. So um, this was just something that was inexpensive. I loved how it came out and then, you know, it was just my own creative um, spin on my office desk. So when creating my first accent wall, kind of solo-ish, um, it was kind of daunting, but I actually loved it. Like I cut the wood, I measured, like I felt empowered, it was good. Now, this will probably be the first and last time that I do it by myself, um, because any other wall that we tackle in our home is way larger than this little space here, but I was very proud. And so every time I come down into my office space, I know that it was something that I created on my own. So some people ask what I actually do for Delta. So I work in their customer care department. I handle complaints that happen on board the aircraft or it's not even complaints. Sometimes it can be compliments, um, service failures. I mean, there's just a lot of multiple things that we actually handle and try to prevent them from becoming DOT complaints, so Department of Transportation. And so that's what I do. It's pretty much email based and sometimes we do get phone calls in. Um, so I'll handle that as well but it's mainly email. So it, it works for me to be in this space because my kids can be in the rec space and have, um, you know, watch a movie or whatever and they don't really have to be quiet for mom because I am doing email. So I don't really have that interaction. Um, but so since my department handles mainly complaints, I thought this little cute sign <laughs> was um, very fitting for my particular line of work. Um, here, I wanted to showcase our sign here that my friend made for me. So my friend Nicole, she has a business called Love and Wood Signs. You can have her on Instagram or we'll put in her information here. And um, she made that sign for us for our closing with Fisher. And I wanted something that was, you know, just showing up how much we worked for this moment in time and to get this home and all of the things that we went through. So I wanted to showcase that. And so she made a sign for us and she also put our hashtag for this Georgia Clay, our logo. So I love it. So thank you so much, girl. And um, please support her. And you can find her on Etsy as well, or as well as Instagram. So I'm plugging her information in the description below. And so for this space, I wanted to pretty much um, have some same aspects as far as what's 
in other areas of our home. So if you saw last week's video, excuse me, Sunday's video of our laundry room, you'll be familiar with this particular wall treatment. So it is a board and batten wall. We just made it horizontal instead of vertical. And I really think that it adds a different um, contrast for the wall. It's really nice. It goes with the farm style, farmhouse style of our home as well. And again, like I said, I'm big for consistency in our house. So I like to incorporate other spaces within the home, but I don't like to necessarily have those spaces so close. So you would never see in our home, this type of wall in the same area. So I wouldn't do it like in the mud room or I wouldn't do it across from the laundry room. It has to be somewhere else. So that way you're like, oh, I, I could have sworn they have something like that somewhere else. And so it gives you a little surprise when you come down the stairs into the basement. So that was the concept here. I've already had this board. Um, I bought it cause you know, during COVID everyone I think was trying to get their hustle on and do other things. So I was um, doing like a little side job in addition to working Delta as well. And I bought it because I was gonna have to utilize and put a lot of scheduling to things and I just wanted something that was right in my face. I can see what I needed to do before I moved on to my next, next task. So in this video, you'll see different equipment, but that didn't work out. Like that job was awful, okay? And <laughs> I would never recommend that for anyone. They don't even deserve a mention. So it doesn't matter what I worked for, I, I hated it. And I only lasted like a month and I was over it, okay? So I'm glad I've been with Delta again for the last four years. Um, Delta has really given our family a lot of different experiences with not only traveling the world, but they're a great company as well. I think every company has their moments as an employee where you're just like, what the heck? But they've really come to bat for us and I love them so much. So we are Delta strong here in this house. Um, so once we do the bar area, you'll see another thing that we're gonna incorporate Delta as well there, so it's gonna be cute. So anyhow, um, I've got this here on Amazon, it was 50 bucks, and it's a glass whiteboard, and it actually matches like my desk. So I wanted the space to you know, go together, be curly, and actually have this part of the house to be somewhat feminine, but not too much, because you know my husband and my kids live here too, <laughs> so I didn't want a space that was out in the open and it was just super over the top, so. I think we came up with a good compromise here. This was the first time that I actually did the battens or the wall treatment myself. Matt did help on, I think on one of them because I first put it up and it was uneven, but I think this was uneven too. But you know, hey, it was my first time. It's okay, it's my space. It's not like it was over all over all of the walls because if it was like, you would never see it. I would have already replaced it and did it correctly already. So um, I was proud of that, but I did that and I got this painting here or picture um, from Hobby Lobby. I thought that it was really nice and I actually wanted to put it in a bathroom. I thought it was a good bathroom picture, but um, in our, our bathrooms, we already had the one for the owner suite that we did. Um, and that's the scale of it was just too big. So I figured it would be nice in my office space. Um, originally the plan was to put a floating shelf under it, but because of my monitor and how it has to um, B is just, it's too tight right there. So we're gonna keep it that way. I don't think I necessarily need anything else as far as a floating anything, because it's kind of tight corners here, but it's enough room for me to move around, move my chair around, so that works out. I do need a lamp, but my desk is already a little cluttered, um, so I don't wanna have too much stuff on it. So I'm gonna get like a floor lamp here. I'll insert a picture of exactly what I want, and I'll put that here. I wanted some greenery, but the picture or the artwork actually helps with that. So yeah, so this is my space here. I got this picture of Matt and I here. Fairy tales do come true, which they do, and I love him. Well, been together this year. Whew, how long, babe? Let me see. This year, 18 years together and 12 years married. Yes, okay. So yeah, we're high school sweethearts. If you guys don't know, I met him when I was in high school. I was 15 and he was 17 years old. He was a senior, I was a sophomore. And it was love at first sight. So we've been together ever since. Um, so that's just a little bit about us. But again, this space is, um, yeah, it's my corner, it's my space. I think we did, or I did a good job incorporating it within the confines of this one little area that I had. And it didn't take over the rest of, of the uh, basement, so. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you, this would be something that you would incorporate in your own home, do you think that it would meet all of the um, 
everything that you would need in that space. Do you think I'm missing anything? Do I need to add anything else? Um, but yeah, just let me know. So thank you guys so much for watching this week. We will be back on Sunday. That would be the last video for the Vlogmas. I know that we didn't really incorporate a lot of Christmas elements in each video, but you guys like our DIY. I think, you know, when I first started the channel, I didn't want it to be a DIY kind of channel. I thought that maybe that my channel would be more so just lifestyle and decor. But for some reason, <laughs> you guys have spoken and we are now DIYers. So um, I love it though. I'm, you know, if that's what you guys want to see as far as our content, then I love, I love providing that. So next year is going to be jam packed. We have a lot of projects that we've already worked on and completed in the house projects that we're still working on. So I can't wait to share that with you guys. I am so honored to have this channel and to have all of you guys. Your feedback is always positive. You know, whenever I'm feeling hectic at work or have something that comes up, I can just read your comments or a comment comes up and it just, I love it. It just inspires me that much more to keep creating content. So again, thank you guys so much for tuning in this week and we'll see you guys at Sunday at 8 p.m. Bye guys.